Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we could discuss Terminator Genesis. So this movie starts off like kind of in a traditional Terminator way, right? A Terminator is sent back through time to protect one of the Connors, to keep them alive, keep the human resistance alive, and ultimately allow that resistance to overcome Skynet. At the same time, Skynet is smart enough to send back its own Terminator, usually a more advanced model, to take care of that Terminator and, you know, ensure that the human resistance doesn't make it through. So the issue here in this installment in Genesis is that there's a time travel quantum point mishap and a lot of things on the timeline get changed. We still have a young Sarah Connor being protected by a Terminator. We also have Kyle being sent back through time to try to find her, to try to ensure that John Connor is born. But at the same time, you know, there's there's a lot more going on than normal. Uh, and that's about all I can, all I can really say. So Terminator Genesis to me is so convoluted. It's so, it's just, there's a lot going on. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of time travel sci-fi this time around. There's a lot of action as well. Like, don't think it's all sci-fi, but they spend a lot of time focusing on the time travel element and it just creates a really like overly complicated, convoluted storyline in my opinion. I didn't mind it. I was actually entertained by it because it was so confusing and ridiculous that I kind of was like laughing at it. But at the same time, like, I think this is still a solid movie. I mean, I was entertained by it. I thought the performances were fun. Um, I thought that uh, Amelia Clark was hilarious trying to, like, channel young Linda Hamilton. Seeing an old Terminator was kind of sad, but at the same time, it was actually kind of cool, too, to see, like, a bad old man, like a badass old man Terminator. Special effects were okay. Some of them were good. Some of them were really, really bad. Uh, the action sequences I thought were good for the most part. It was an entertaining movie, I just don't think it's like one of the better Terminator movies. But again, I think sometimes it's just fun to see these characters, to see Arnold back as the Terminator. I've said that in the other Terminator reviews. but So I liked this movie, but it's really, really, really convoluted. Uh, great cast, though. But the story's just really whack. It's, it's got so much like, it's just so unnecessarily complicated. But I get it. We're at the point in the franchise where you really have to start like digging deep, trying to find new pathways to explore. So at least they took a risk. And ultimately, I don't. I think while it like is definitely confu way, 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 way too complicated. At least it doesn't like taint the movie or anything. I still think this is a solid, fun movie. But I'm just, you know, I'm nostalgic and I like the Terminator series. But I thought it was a solid action movie with way too much time travel talk. Anyway, that's my review of Terminator Genesis. If you want more reviews, you can go right here on YouTube to my movie review playlist. But until then, thanks for watching this review. I do greatly appreciate it, and hopefully, I'll see you soon.